How to treat lazy eye and amblyopia. Amblyopia is a common visual impairment among children where the incidence of occurrence is between 2 and 3 percent. If the problem is not addressed during childhood it could persist into adulthood so let's take a deeper look into how this disorder is treated. There are various treatments available for lazy eye and amblyopia. Most include training the brain to use the weaker eye more often in an effort to strengthen its vision. The two most common treatments used to achieve this is atropine drops and patching. Atropine drops. This treatment uses a drug called atropine, which is usually applied in drop form to the stronger eye once a day. These drops cause the eye to blur its vision. By blurring the stronger eye's vision, this treatment forces the brain to use the weaker one. According to the National Institute of Health, this method is considered as effective as the patch. Which brings us to the next treatment option. Patching. This treatment involves placing an adhesive patch over the dominant eye for a prescribed amount of time. The ultimate goal of covering the stronger eye is to force the child's weaker eye to be used and promote its development. According to the National Eye Institute, using this method on moderate cases of amblyopia a couple hours per day can be just as effective as doing it for six hours. However, it is important to note that more severe cases may require extended treatment periods. Although the National Institute of Health supports the premise that treating amblyopia has a higher success rate in very young children, clinical trials have shown that children between the ages of 7 and 17 also benefited from this treatment. Amblyopia, or lazy eye, is a vision impairment impacting millions of people, however, by applying the above treatments it can be treated relatively easily. If someone you know suffers from this disorder, have them or the caregiver contact an eye doctor for an appropriate course of action and treatment. For more information on this and other eye-related topics visit our blog at blog.contactlensking.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks.